What's going on guys, Geosnow right here, so in today's video I'm going to present you how to get the SHSH2 blobs for iOS 10.3 beta and I'm going to also explain why is this important at least very important for the downgrade. So let's move on to the information. You probably remember that on my channel I posted a video a couple of uh, days ago or a week ago in which we discussed about the fact that you can use iOS 10.3 beta 1 in order to downgrade to 10.2 that is no longer signed and that can be jailbroken if you have the iOS 10.2 uh, blobs saved. This is also backed up by Tim Star and he said, quote, Totally forgot about the iOS 10.3 beta 1 being released prior to 10.2.1 and it's still vulnerable to collisions and still sign it. Thanks one more time to my followers." End quote. Now, you probably remember that iOS 10.2.1 was uh, actually the one that was fought to kill the nonce collisions, which means downgrades without using the um, jailbreak, but it actually isn't. iOS 10.3 beta is still signed because iOS 10.3 is still in beta. I think it will be in beta for the next week or next two weeks, and then it will get released. When it will get released, you will no longer be able to use this bug, and if you don't have the iOS 10.3 beta blobs saved, you will most likely not be able to use this trick anymore. And this is why I um, actually recommend you to save the blobs for iOS 10.3 somewhere, because they will be extremely useful sometimes in the future for downgrading. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Well, the command is a little bit different than the uh, normal, because we cannot use TSS Saver. TSS Saver is actually saving the blobs only for iOS 10.2.1, and um, Ticketbox actually does the same. If you go here, it will only save the blobs for iOS 10.2.1. It doesn't support saving the blobs for the betas, which means you need to use TSS Checker from Teamstar. And I know TSS Checker is a command line tool and might pose a little bit of uh, threats for those who are beginners, but I'm going to show you the command and I'm going to make sure you understand it. So uh, this is how you do it. You need to first download the files and you have them available for Windows, Mac OS and Linux in the same folder. To download them, you need to navigate in here, the link is in the description, to Teamstar and scroll a little bit and you will download this zip. The zip contains the Mac OS, Linux and Windows as well, if that's your thing. Anyways, I'm going to show you how to use it, but first it will look like this. All the binaries, no matter for which operating system, will have this white paper. In order to make it look like this, in order to get it working on the terminal, you need to first run chmode 775 and then drag the file. I already did that, so it has the icon, but if you do that, it will change to this icon in here. Now you need to open the application. You can see it works, and I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so that you can see. And you need a special different command, it's different than the one we use for iOS 10.2.1, so pay attention. You need to call the app again with the following parameters. D for the device, and I'm going to use an iPod Touch for this, so it's going to be iPod 7.1 or 7.1, make sure you specify the device correctly, either way the blob will be useless. Then on the I right here for the iOS version, I'm going to write 10.3 double dash beta dash O because we're going to get the OTAs they're going to be useful sometimes it's going to be OTA signing status instead of the normal restore and we're going to insert here the ACID in order to get the ACID you need to connect the device to iTunes you do not need to update in order to, to get the blobs for example my iPod touch is running iOS 10.0.2 and I'm not going to update it to 10.3 you don't need to do that you just need to go in here in iTunes and get the um, the unique ACID you can see in here I'm running iOS 10.0.2 but I'm not going to update it anyways I'm going to take the ACID from here close iTunes and put it in here. If you put a different ACID, ACID than the one from your device, it's going to make a bad blob that, that cannot be used, I don't know, it's going to make it corrupted. So we'll make sure everything is correct in here. And then we're going to write S, save, and I'm going to create a save path for that, which is going to be save path. And I'm going to use the shsh2 blobs folder in here going to drag it like this and let's double check the command yep looks good let's try 
is going to download the uh, required files. Uh, keep in mind, this is going to download the blobs for all the betas, including the beta 1 to beta 4. So do not worry, it is good to save them at least for the betas. And you can see it downloaded the blobs correctly and completely in here. As you can see, this one from February 21 is, is for iOS 10.2.1 and these are for iOS 10.3. So you are now able to, to downgrade if you need to do so in the future, because as I said, iOS 10.3 Beta 1 plays a very important role in the downgrade if you have the iOS 10.2 blobs. If you have, I don't know, if you have any interest into downgrading, you can go ahead here on the channel and see my downgrade playlist. You can go to the playlist, I have an entire playlist for that on how to use Prometheus or Future Restore to downgrade, how to save the blobs, how to use the nonce enabler if you're jailbroken and so on. So be sure to check that out. Till the next time, I'm Geosnow, peace out.